Hey guys, what's up again? It's your girl, Rita Bonita. And you've probably already read the title of my video. So you probably already know what this video is about. Yeah, it's about my sweet Coco. Yeah, I realized that I had to tell you guys what happened to Coco. Um, Coco passed away. Um, she passed away October the 15th of 2023, and um, it's a, it was about 5 o'clock p.m., and to be honest, guys, I, I, I know I'm just now telling you, and that happened last year ago, but unfortunately, I, I wasn't ready to talk about what happened to Coco. And I know you guys know, if you've been following me on my channel, that Coco really meant a lot to me and my family. Um, so much so that I was about to get her registered as an emotional support dog for um, my children. Um, so she definitely meant a lot to all of us. Such a beautiful dog. Um, so let me just tell you what happened. Um, we came home that day, um, me and my daughter, Allison. And when we got home, um, I knew something was up um, because Coco has always ran to the door to meet me. Anytime I come back home, she would be right at the door. And I noticed that she wasn't at the door. And as we walked, into the house she i didn't hear her running or anything so i knew something was off with that and i'm thinking allison um noticed too because when we got to the living room around the corner we seen her laying on the living room floor and i knew something was up because a she wasn't moving and that wasn't like Coco at all. So, you know, Allison, of course, being my youngest child, she got in a panic and she got really, really emotional. And, you know, I'm trying to calm, you know, as a parent, you're trying to calm your child down. Um, I had food in my hand, trying to put my food down and everything like that. So I was able to get over to Coco, get out and to calm down. And I said, just let me see what's going on, you know. Um, and just a tad bit of information. Um, Coco, since I had her, she had had two seizures. One seizure she had, I was actually here. So I actually seen her while she was having the seizure. And so i was thinking okay she's she's probably laying still because she's probably having a seizure but when i when i got to her you know she was not moving but she still felt warm so i was just thinking well you know she she must be okay she must be okay but she wasn't moving so um i just immediately you know i called the vet hospital here I told them what was going on. They told me to bring her in. Once I picked her up and I actually put her in her little carrying bed, you know, I just knew, no, I knew that she had probably passed away because her eyes was open, they wasn't moving and her tongue was just hanging out the side of her mouth. I'm gonna upload some pictures here or here and, um, you'll be able to see how we actually found Coco when we came home. So by the time we got her to the vet, of course, they explained to us that she had already passed away and there was nothing that they could do. So that's what it was. And it was a very hard transition for me and um, my family, um, particularly me, because I spent some coins on Coco. Um, she's the first dog that I ever paid for, you know, and so I definitely invested a lot of time, um, and attention, you know, 
into her. And also because I work from home. So in working from home, Coco was always here with me. She was always under my work desk. And so it definitely took some time to get used to the transition and of not having Coco around. But unfortunately, you know, that's what happened. Um, at the vet, they couldn't tell us what happened to her. They couldn't do any blood work because unfortunately she had already passed away. Um, but they did say that she didn't have no um, outside injuries or they didn't feel anything on her. So we really are left with the, we don't know, you know, what ha could have happened to her. So that was very saddening for our family, um, what happened to Coco. But you know what, when sad things happen, joy can happen too. You know, um, I told myself, okay, well, that's it. I'm not getting any more dogs. And you guys are hearing it from me. I still have not gotten another dog. I don't want to get another dog because this is the second dog that I've had that passed away. So unfortunately for my own emotional mindset, um, I cannot deal with that situation again, okay? But we do have a new member to our family. Let me introduce you to her. Baby, come on. Come on, mama. Hey, Doe. We have a new member to our family, baby. Say hey. We have beautiful baby who is actually my youngest daughter, Allison's pet. Um, baby was a stray cat that we got and uh, well Allison got her and that's a whole nother story and maybe just maybe Allison will share that story with you guys one day to tell you how she rescued beautiful baby and what's so unique about baby is that I know I don't have Coco anymore right but baby acts just like Coco she does she follows me everywhere I go. She's always under my work table in my work room. And when we come home, baby always comes running to the door. So it's so weird. We were thinking, isn't this so strange? You know, it's like she's displaying the same characteristics as our beautiful Coco. So yeah, we got baby and we really don't need no more animals. And um, we're also taking care of a foster cat mom, Siamese cat, and her two kittens. And I'm sure I'll post some short videos about that family as well that we've been taking care of. So, you know, yeah, we were really sad and devastated about what happened to Coco. But, you know, we're such a giving family, you know, um... And you know me, I love to take care of people, things, you know, so it's about moving on and sharing the love and being able to take care, you know, another animal or other animals. The foster family we're taking care of, it's a stray family, so they're outside, you know, but I do make sure that mom and the babies get fed. And so um, that's another story time, you know, story. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my small little story time about what happened to Coco. And there'll be some video clips of Coco at the end, just so you can remember Coco with us. So again, you know what time it is. It's time for me to get on out of here. Don't forget to get on over there to my other channel, which is called Miss Bonita, Who Is She? Go over there and subscribe. I've already posted videos of what my journey, the start of my journey. So if you want to follow my life journey, then that's the channel to go to to follow that journey. But if you over here on Rita Bonita, you can still subscribe over here too because I'll still be posting from time to time over here as well. So you guys, I got to.